What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Champion Living Podcast, the only podcast crossing the lines between the sport of rodeo and fitness. I'm your host, Doug Champion, and today I am flying solo. My co-hosts are out of the office today. Um, Paul just welcoming in the birth of their new daughter. Um, So congrats, Paul and Heather, and Logan is just getting back from family vacation with his whole crew, so hoping they make it back safe, and they will... uh, We will all be back together for the next episode, but I just want to fill you guys all in on some cool things that we have going on with, uh, with champion living. And then I wanted to get over into, um, kind of overcoming some of that gym intimidation that we hear about a lot from clients. So that is, uh, just being intimidated in general from the gym. And I'm going to talk about some things that can kind of help you overcome that. Um, some things you may have not thought about before you even go to the gym and then some things that will help you while you're actually at the gym. Uh, first thing I want to talk about was the Champion Living Fitness app. So we have released um, a new app and it is on the Apple App Store and is on the Google Play Store. It is called Champion Living Fitness. You can look it up and what that has is eight week programs um, with a lot of event specific direction. So we have bareback riding, saddle bronc riding, bull riding, um, roping, and I believe we have barrel racing up there now. Um, these are all introduction plans for people to get a taste of what it's like to work out, um, what it's like to work out specifically training for rodeo, and then also get a taste of what our training is like. And if you have been interested in our training, I think this is a great, great icebreaker to get a taste for what we do, what it looks like. And, you know, if you're wanting to further your coaching and do an individualized plan, this is a great spot to start and see if you want to continue on getting a coach with us. Um, But it is Awesome. We're extremely excited about it. Guys, they're like $19 for a month um, to access them. They're, they're inexpensive, they're affordable, and they're meant for anybody and everybody to do. We have um, programs on there that are not rodeo related as well for anyone that wants to work out and wants information about working out. Um, second thing I wanted to talk about was we have just partnered with a new company called Ice Hole Coolers. And I'm extremely excited about this because I am constantly on the go outside hunting, fly fishing, rodeoing, and being able to eat, drink, do all those things well. And accordingly with, with your protocol is really, really hard when you're traveling. Well, that's why I love having a cooler on board. Um, and not only a cooler, but a cooler that's going to hold ice and that's affordable. Um, as we've seen the prices of everything kind of keeps going up and up and up and, Uh, Most quality coolers these days are about the price of a car note, which I'm not cool with. Um, So needless to say, these are not the price of a car note, and they are the same exact quality ice hole coolers. They're based out of Madisonville, Texas. All of their hard coolers are made in the USA, which I think is really cool. They also have lines of hybrid coolers. So these hybrid coolers are the bee's knees. Um, I know you guys have messed around with these soft coolers that you carry around with the big zippers, and those zippers always get stuck these have a magnetic lid. So no more zippers. The magnetic lid is very strong. So it doesn't just pop off. You could literally close it and start hiking with it. And it would, it would not come off. Um, it's also set up to be like a backpack, even more convenient. You can strap things to the side of it, fishing poles, um, you know, bottle openers, whatever you want. There's tons, tons of space in it to, uh, to do whatever you want with it, which is really cool and convenient. It is by far one of my favorite things they have. Um, you can also customize all this. So I don't know if you've seen um, my Instagram recently, but you can put your logos on any of the coolers, any of the cups, and they turn out outstanding. Um, we just got a whole line of, of cups and water bottles in, and I could not be more impressed with them. Um, guys, check them out, iceholecoolers.com. They are, again, an American company. They're based out of Buffalo, Texas. Um, you can use our discount code champion living is going to be all one word and caps, and that's going to save you 10% off of all their gear. Um, it's a great, great discount. It's an awesome product. Y'all check them out, support small businesses and help support us. We really, really appreciate you guys. Um, let's get into what's going on with gym intimidation and what we keep hearing from clients and ways to overcome it. So y'all, this is a really, really common thing. Um, overcoming fear of going to the gym, I would say that if you weren't raised in a gym or weren't in sports for 90% of your life, you're going through this. Um, you signed up for that gym membership, paid, you know, your annual first month's fee. Um, but now you're, you're hesitating about getting that first workout in. And I, again, like I said, I think everyone has experienced this or has heard of stories of someone experiencing this. So 
for a multitude of reasons, something is holding you back. Um, you know, just the thought of walking in the gym is making you nervous and that's okay. Just let's chat about it right now. So first and foremost, again, like I said, it's totally normal to be feeling any sort of fear, um, uneasiness about going to your first gym workout or for trying anything for the first time. It's nerve wracking, but that's part of why I love those situations is because when you overcome those, you're so much more likely to go try new things and to, uh, you know, add to your experiences and things like that. It's only going to make you a better human. So having those feelings is okay, but let's figure out how we can get through those feelings and push through. So if you're, um, you know, and things like think about this when you're going to the gym, if you're not familiar with proper form technique, you never worked out before, you're definitely going to have this feeling like you're getting judged by people. And I think that's a normal thing when you go into a gym, if you're new or anything, I just went to an archery shoot. I was the f first thing I've ever done like that. And I thought everyone was looking at me like this guy has no idea what he's doing, but he'd tell you it's not true. Um, everyone is there at the gym or, you know, even at my archery tournament to get better, um, to practice, to get better. Everyone's working towards goals together. Once we can start looking at it that way, you're gonna have a much better, um, perception of what's going on and what your experience will be like at the gym. So before we move, before we move forward, just know that you shouldn't feel embarrassed um, for how you're feeling. Many people experience the same emotions, and when they're going to a new gym, and you just got to remember that at some point, every gym goer in there was you, was that new person, and has been where you are. So instead of saying, "Oh, these people are going to judge me for not knowing everything," I think ninety percent of the people at the gym would honestly be more than willing to extend a hand and help you answer any questions. Um, you know, and you may run into a couple that won't, but that's just life, right? So um, start adjusting that perception, start thinking about things a little different way. And in a sense, like, instead of I can't do this, I've never done this, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, let's change that to I'm new, I may not know what I'm doing now, but <clears throat> I'm here to get the experience. And I can ask somebody reach out guys. And that's how you also end up making friends, you get support systems that way. That's pretty much how I've met every gym buddy that I've ever had is just going up to a random person when I first got there and asking him a question about, um, you know, something and it just worked into all of a sudden workout buddy is accountability buddy and it's going a lot better. Um, let's start. Um, let's figure out where to start here. And I think that we have to start with the little things. And these are things I think that most people overlook. They may seem irrelevant and insignificant, but these items for you may be just the confidence booster that you need. First and foremost, I don't think people think about having this in order. And that's your music. Get that playlist ready. I really, really enjoy listening to my jams and I'm working out or occasionally I'll throw on a podcast if I'm feeling in a different kind of like mood and just want to listen and learn, but having the right music for your workout session can absolutely help set the tone. So maybe it's something bubbly, current or hard rock rap, whatever it is, something to get your heart rate going, make it something that will motivate you and get you excited to go. So you're like, I get to go to, I'm going to the gym, but I get to listen to this podcast or I get to rock out to these songs. I'm going to, be in such a better mood when I leave, like whatever that is, it's a very, very small thing that can control how your experience is at the gym. Second thing, dress the part. Guys, this is kind of lame and I get it, but a lot of times when you feel like you're dressed like other people there, you feel like you're more a part of what's going on. Um, if you show up and you're in jeans and the cowboy boots and whatever. Hey, that's cool. You can still work out, but people are definitely going to look at you, right? So to help avoid that, you can always get some good workout clothes. Everyone, you know, when you're feeling good, looking good, it makes it much easier to go do those things. Hui has a bunch of great stuff out, guys. We've partnered with them recently. They are wanting to help us spread our knowledge of fitness um, in rodeo by getting great quality workout gear um, through them. And so, you can check them out, guys. They have bamboo shirts um, that keep you cool, that are moisture wicking. They're awesome. Go out to hooey.com. Um, I also have a link in my Instagram bio, and we'll have a link in these uh, in these show notes as well. That you guys can kind of go check out what they have. But guys, dressing the part is a, a small thing that you can that you can do that may help you feel a little bit better. Next thing I think is you guys need to do your research. Spending more time researching basic but effective exercises and how to properly do them is gonna first help reduce the possible risk of injury, 
which is always something in the beginning that we that we worry about people going in, going too fast, going too heavy, instead of focusing on good, good reps and quality technique. Um, you know, doing that research is going to help you focus on those things. Um, and it's also going to help you reassure yourself that you're doing these things correctly. The gym can be intimidating, like we said, but looking up different machines, what they do with the muscles that they work, you're going to have a much better understanding of what those exercises do for you day to day. Okay. So like I said before, if you guys need a starting point, you don't know what exercises do, go check out some of these apps. Champion Living Fitness app is a great start, guys. Go down on the app. Again, there's free workouts there. There's paid programs there for everybody. So go get something that you can follow and so you don't have to make your own program. That is going to be a huge step one. Okay, so while we're at the gym, y'all, you've actually made it. Water bottle's ready. Your workout is prepped. What the hell do I do next? <laughs> First thing. Like I said earlier, y'all, don't worry about anybody else. To be honest, other gym members are caught up in what they're doing usually, not into how you look, whether you belong there. Everyone belongs in this environment that encourages health and well-being. So you're doing an amazing thing there for your body, your mind, yourself. Pat yourself on the back and say, good job for getting there. That's the first step. You're walked in those doors and you're ready to go. Second thing, I kind of mentioned this before, but if you guys have questions, don't be afraid to ask. More than often, there's going to be a trainer available that's going to probably be labeled on their shirt. Um, if you have questions re regarding form, how to work out on certain machines, um, you know, they want they want to make sure that they look good doing their jobs. So they're going to probably give you good advice and potentially, you know, try and sell you. But at least you're getting good advice if you don't want to be sold on personal training, if you want to go somewhere else. But don't be afraid to ask, y'all. It's it's their job as the trainer. That's why they're there. Um, if there isn't a trainer around, I'm guaranteed someone would be happy to help you out. I've never seen anyone not help a fellow gym member, um, you know, with whatever it was. They may have looked at them funny, but regardless, they're going to help them. Um, as I said, everyone is there with a common goal to look, feel, be better. And so just remember that everyone's there to, to get better together. Last thing I want to cover here is when in doubt on exercises, y'all start light. And again, this is going to be a mindset ego thing. You might just have a barbell or like a five pound dumbbell and that's okay. No one is looking at you thinking you're weak. If you're focusing on those perfect reps, moving with intent. Um, but biggest thing I see, especially from guys, um, you know, you come from doing high school football, high school sports and the environment, the culture there is to lift heavy as fuck. And that's okay. That was the point was to get strong. Well, that has changed now. And you're no longer a football player, basketball player, baseball player, whatever wrestler. You're a dad, you're a mom, you're, uh, you know, working this job, you're something else than a professional athlete. So there's no reason to be trying to lift heavy, heavy things right off the bat to try and prove yourself that you're still strong. If we can, if we're in doubt, I want you to start light. Many new gym goers, <clears throat> Fear they're going to get hurt is another thing. And this is another great way to avoid that is just start light and start by focusing on the quality of those reps. Um, you know, while maintaining good form, it's which is going to get easier with practice. What if you're focusing on that, it's really hard to, to injure yourself. So um, as you get more comfortable, you can start increasing that resistance over the weeks, right? So um, this could be in as few as three to four weeks, but you will start to notice that that barbell, that five pound dumbbell is much easier than before. And what that is, is your body saying, hey, we're ready for a new stimulus. We've mastered this. We're feeling good. Let's add a little bit of weight, two and a half to five pounds. You know, try that out for a week. If it's still heavy the next week, we'll stay at that weight. When that weight starts to get lighter, we'll add another two and a half, another five pounds to that. And we'll continually progressively overload. And we've talked about that a ton in our, um, in previous episodes, but Y'all just make sure that if you're in doubt of whether what weight it should be, just start light and you can always go up y'all. It's that's easy. What's hard is doing some bad reps at a really heavy weight and not able to go back from that. You're, you're wiped, your CNS is depleted. Um, you're probably hurting a little bit from not moving correctly. So start light, um, and start where you're comfortable. And finally, last thing y'all is make the gym a habit and part of your new routine. The more you go, the easier it's going to be to execute the movements in proper form. And also the better that you're going to feel, the more consistent that you are. Something that I run into a lot with athletes, and this is a little bit of a sidetrack, but 
we have athletes that will begin working out. You start feeling good and you miss a day or two and you don't start feeling worse. You still feel good. So you miss that week and you're still feeling good. And so you continue on, you can do in your jackpots, your rodeos, whatever, not exercising, still feeling good. Well, after week two and continuing on to week three, the body is starting to, to feel tighter and you're starting to notice that you're not feeling as good and you're just out of that routine now and you are no longer doing the things that you need to to feel good so you will stop feeling good um athletes will get injured say they hurt their shoulder they'll do internal external rotation do all these banded exercises for four weeks they will feel outstanding they will go back to competition they will stop doing those exercises and four weeks later we're exactly where they were before they came to us because they haven't continued to be consistent in doing those things these things in your routine y'all never go away so you've got to get that through your head that i've got to continue the routine to get the results that i want the things i did to get the results i had went away because i wasn't doing the things i needed to do and that's just the bottom line i think that applies to a lot more than fitness and in rodeo it, it applies to pretty much everything in life if you want to accomplish something you need to be consistently and diligently working towards it for me um Guys, for sure, there's days that I do not want to go to the gym and I sit there and fight myself for it. And what I always end up doing, and I'm going to say 99% of the time I make myself go and I, it's because of the sole fact that I know I'm not going to feel as tight as I do right now. And that's the reason that I'm not going. It's usually because I feel tight. I'm sore. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm, I need to go move and my body is telling me that. But it's the funny thing is, is in your brain is the opposite. It's saying, you know, you just need to chill. But if you actually go get some light movement in, you're going to feel so much better. And you get that routine building and it becomes even more of your identity and your culture and those things. So y'all stay consistent um, just to wrap this up really quickly. So before you go to the gym, guys, make sure you have your pre-gym things ready, the things that are going to keep you going, the little things. So your playlist, have a jam up playlist, whether it's music, podcast, whatever, have something that's going to fire you up and get you excited to listen to. Two, if you're someone that worries about your appearance and clothing, guys, get some good clothes, get some good workout clothes, get some things that make you feel good, look good. That always helps. Third thing, do your research. Make sure you're researching the exercises you're going to doing, the machines that you want to use. What's the proper way to do that? Is if you don't have a coach, you need to be researching all these things. If you hire a coach, that is what you're paying them for, right? Is they've already done the research, they're going to cue you and tell you exactly what to do. While you're at the gym, y'all, again, don't worry about anybody else. Everyone is there working on themselves, trying to get better. They're not worried about you. Um, if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. That's the only way you get better. That's how all of us learn majority of the things when we started this journey, our fitness journeys. Um, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Find a trainer, find another gym goer that looks like they you know, know what they're doing and shoot them a question, whatever it is. Um, last thing, that's when in, when in doubt, start light. Um, you don't need to go in there and improve anything to anybody but yourself. If you focus on quality reps, being the best moving person in the gym, the weight will come. And all of a sudden, you'll be the strongest, best moving person in the gym after time. And that's not going to be a short amount of time. That's a long amount of time. But it can happen and it will happen. It just depends on where your focus is. Guys, hope you enjoyed this solo episode. Um, if not, I apologize. <laughs> but I got to thank our sponsors, Beastmaster Pro Rodeo. Been with us for a while. They are supplying the best rodeo gear to professional rodeo athletes and rodeo athletes all over the world. And U.S., if you guys need anything rodeo related, Check them out, beastmasterrodeo.com. You can use our discount code Champion Living. It's going to save you 10% off of the, all their products. And again, ice hole coolers. Y'all just talked about in the beginning of this. Summer's coming. I know you guys need coolers. We need to keep drinks and food cold. Rodeos are coming. You need a little cooler to keep with you. Go check them out. They're affordable. They're quality. Iceholecoolers.com. Champion Living, all one word, caps locked. It's going to save you 10% on all their products. Guys, until next time, we'll catch you later. <laughs>